Hey guys, Mick here. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Um, going to talk about bike shoes. So, as most of you are aware, I tend to ride in flat shoes. Um, I still think that that's, for most people, probably the better option. Um, they just um, provide the ability to put your foot down. And I don't really want to get into the religious argument about pros and cons, um, but it's definitely something that's growing. Now, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna ride in flat shoes, you really, really need something grippy. I can't emphasize enough how much difference it makes going from a, a runner or a walking boot to a proper grippy bike shoe. Um, it, it's a massive, massive improvement because basically most of your stability on the bike is based around your feet. So having grip on the pedals is critical. So for years, 510 have been the shoes to own, mainly because of their really sticky rubber that comes from their background in rock climbing shoes. And it meant that the grip on the pedal was incredible. They've had a whole pile of different models throughout the years, and they've always really set the standard. Now, there appears to be a number of other companies coming in uh, that are doing it. Uh, a couple I've tried, um, wasn't really impressed. I've never really found anything as sticky. Uh, the closest that I came was the Ride Concepts and I've been riding in those for about the last 18 months because 510 were unavailable in Australia and so you could only buy the mail order and I was supporting what the local bike shops had and I was pretty happy with my Ride Concepts. One of the key points I think that shows that the Ride Concepts aren't as sticky is that I think they rely a lot more on the patterning on the shoe for the grip rather than purely just the rubber texture. And I found that as they start to wear and get a bit smoother on the bottom, they become quite slippery, uh, a lot more so than what 510s have ever done. So I do still think the 510 rubber is stickier. So I went through a couple of pairs of Ride Concepts and now 510s are back in Australia and are available. So um, I've actually switched back to 510. Now the shoe I want to talk about at the moment is the Trail Cross, which is a new shoe by 510 and it's very much more runner-like. Um, I've been really keen on the idea of this because I've actually had a set of 510 approach shoes which are uh, they're designed for rock climbers who are walking into the rock climbing. So they've got the sticky rubber on them but they're basically a pair of runners. They were quite good on the bike um, if I'm doing the ride to the shops and things like that, but they weren't really quite stiff enough and uh, the absorption through the sole wasn't good enough for landing big jumps and stuff. So it's not ideal on the bike, but it was pretty cool for just, you know, touring around and going down the river for, the sw for a swim and things like that. So my go-to shoe had always been the Freerider Pros and I've just bought a pair of those as well and they're as good as they've ever been. But these new Trail Cross, I have to say, I'm really impressed with. They're a really light shoe. They have a bit more of a runner type look and feel to them. Um, they're quite a narrow fit, um, but they're really, really comfortable. They've still got quite a lot of support around the toe and around the heel. So you get, I believe, as good a protection as you're gonna get in a set of Freerider Pros. The sole is the same fundamentally through the middle, sticky dot pattern which is really, really good. There's the same stiffness in them. Um, they've got drain ports for water. So rather than being water repellent, they're designed to basically just fill up with water and then drain out. And I believe they dry really quickly, although I've only had these for a few days and I haven't actually washed them yet. So I'm not sure how quickly they do dry. Um, but what I found is the grip on the pedal, pedal the torsional stability and the, um, absorption of the shoe when you're hitting jumps and things is every bit as good as the Freerider Pro. So from that point of view, as a mountain bike shoe, it really puts them on par with a Freerider Pro. Where the advantage comes from is on the heel of them, they have a slightly different pattern that you'll notice that's more of a bar sort of pattern. It's actually quite a lot grippier when you're walking down steep hills. Um, so it's quite nice when I'm out coaching. It would be good for if you're out trail building 
or if you're out riding your bike and jumping off and having to carry your bike through things or just walking around looking at the scenery. So that's really, really good. There's also a bit similar at the front. So it's a little bit more grippy when you're walking up steep things as well, which is, which is really great. The other key thing is they've just added that little bit more flex in the toe. So it's still quite stiff to wear and still really supportive on the bike, but it's just so much better to walk around in. Um, so for me, this is absolutely the ideal shoe because I spend a lot of time coaching and so I'm on and off the bike a fair bit and I'm walking around a bit, particularly with little kids. And the performance on the bike is every bit as good as what a Freerider Pro is. So yeah, definitely a favorite shoe at the moment. Really enjoying the way it feels and the way it rides. Um, something that's worth considering if you're out buying some new shoes. So yeah, thanks for watching the video guys. If you're enjoying it, um, click like and feel free to subscribe and leave some comments below as to what shoes you like to wear. Thanks a lot guys and we'll see you in the next video.